Patricia Foote was born with orthopedic problems. Her spine and backbone slipped forward, one leg shorter than the other. Now at 35, the pain from compressed nerves was threatening her career as a medical surgical assistant and destroying her quality of life. It became completely debilitating. I couldn't even drive home from work. I could barely make it through work and I just was at my wit's end. Over the years, she was told she needed major surgery, but now with robotic technology, she decided it was time. The pain in the legs is completely gone. I started walking, and then I was walking twice a day, like a mile and a half in the morning, a mile and a half at night. At Abala Hospital in Covington, orthopedic spine surgeon Dr. Samar Shamia did a spinal fusion on Patricia's lower back using this robot that he calls a GPS for the spine. It allows me to put the perfectly placed screw, a longer screw, less radiation, uh, minimally invasive for the patient. Data from a pre-op CT scan of Patricia's back were fed into the system. Then the robotic arm lines up to the precise location where the doctor needs to put each screw. No longer does the doctor have to make a big incision and cut through muscles to see the entire area of the spine. So you have less blood loss, you have less of a hospital stay because there's less pain, uh, you have more accurate and precise placement. Um, and, and the re recovery is much less. He believes this accuracy could decrease the need for future fusions nearby. Dr. Shamia says he gained passion for his patients eight years ago after what happened at a Saints Cowboys game in Dallas. A drunk driver hit me and then ran over me with his Escalade. So I had 15 broken ribs, a fractured hip. If it wasn't for a passionate private practice physician who fixed my hip, uh, I wouldn't be here today. There's no way he saved my career completely. Even just the nerve pain gone in my legs, Dr. Shamia drastically changed my life for the better, drastically. Now he paid it forward to Patricia. From Covington, Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch.